Instead, do the real. Remember when? Ooh, 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 music time. Remember when? This is longer than a vine. Ugh, Jesus. Uh, remember when? Ba, 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 ba. Remember when? Ba, 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 ba. Remember when? Ladies and gentlemen, remember when? This week, of course, you have a lot going on with. Uh... I blew my singing water earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> problems with the authority on uh wwe oh, last God. night uh man mike came up with this a great idea what about thinking back to other people having problems and disrespecting authority in some way mike this is yours do you have one off the top of your head uh this wasn't mine i just i just read what was in the notes but um oh, oh. <laughs> yeah it was mine oh okay. yeah i believe it was lb you're the one that brought it to my attention when nobody else did well, I, I read things from time to time. I follow the show notes. <laughs> um, let's see. I I don't have one right now, Sword. I'll come back. To okay. I was the guy that did bring up with it. How about you, LB? Uh, well, I thought that would take a little bit longer. So I was trying to find the date of something, but I can't. So let's say 1991. The place. Yeah. WWF. The medium comic books oh virgil has had enough i already hate this now <laughs> fuck your face riz fuck your face that's the title of fuck this week's you episode bring up virgil. Face, riz. No. No. virgil has had enough ted dibiase t- attacks him for the last and final time and where does this take place in ted dibiase's palatial mansion deep in South Florida. Virgil attacks him in his uh, uh, workout room, throwing weights that should cripple people. Ted DiBiase is relatively unfazed. He fends off his manslave Virgil and goes to dive in his money, ducktail style. Not physics style, because that's not possible, but ducktail style. What happens? Virgil pursues him, of course, because it's the same fucking house, and he's just angry. They fight. Somehow they end up on a balcony. Someone gets thrown off the balcony into a pool. And at the end of the comic, Virgil is put back in his place and returns as Ted DiBiase's manslave. Oh, this is a comic. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I thought this was like a segment from WWE that I missed. (laughs) No, I said said it at the beginning that it was from the comics, yeah. Okay. That's my favorite. I've never seen anything in wrestling to equal that. (laughs) All right, all Sorg, right. Sorg? Wow, wow. Uh, my favorite. I mean, it's kind of the the standard one. My favorite is the, the actually you can get multiple from us. Um, but my favorite was the time that uh, Stone Cold made Vince piss himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, that's a good one. Because I, I remember I was kind of wavering back to WWF at the time, and that was a "Is this real?" kind of night. <laughs> um, what was kind of my thoughts uh, going into that? <laughs> Done. Is that the gun sword that helped? Yes. The gun with the bang. Yes. McMahon 316 says, I just pissed my pants. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, Sorg, I wonder what you were watching this weekend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stone Cold. No, sword? I wasn't. Well, I, I did watch a little bit last night um, after we did our, our show. I just left the stream on and they had the Stone Cold thing a little bit. So, but yeah, it kind of makes you think about that a little bit. Um, plus, they got the uh, the uh, Zamboni episode, or or was it the beer truck uh, episode? Well, he did both. Commander. He did, yes, he did yeah. both. But I mean, they had one of the episodes on Best of Raw uh, this week as well. So, um, Mike, you come up with anything yet? Yes, I did. Um, back when we had the Alliance, mm-hmm. God, uh, very. Uh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> the stakers, oh, the no, no. I, think you did. I love the reaction when anyone gets their stakers. Go ahead. Um, when Kurt Angle, God damn it! <laughs> when Kurt Angle comes out of the milk truck and sprays uh, the entire alliance with milk, and Jr. uttered the classic line, "The billion dollar princess has become a dairy queen." <laughs> classic. So much, Mike. I have to look up something else. Me too. All right. How about Matt Carlin's? Maybe he he didn't just have his taken. 
Uh, all right, Sorg, you helped me out. You, you jogged my memory by taking me back to the Austin era. I remember – you guys might have to help me fill in the gaps. I remember an awesome moment where Shane McMahon showed up to his father, Vin, and I believe he stood side by side with Steve Austin. God damn it. ever enough for him. And it was – I mean, like his voice was – really heartfelt promo and i think it was like a month later at the survivor series where he ended up screwing over stone cold in the, uh, in the, uh, oh, oh he didn't coming. take mine can i go can i go okay okay bobby 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 go ahead go ahead when shane mcmahon bought wcw <laughs> <laughs> guys a flat, round of applause for bobby for getting his in there oh, God, congratulations God. so Thanks. much bobby congratulations congratulations thank you thank hey, Amen. do you uh, have one uh, I don't have a particular one. As you know, I'm very oh, young. I, I don't have so my remember fun. box. I, I however, <laughs> I actually just got done listening to a uh, an episode of the Opie and Anthony uh, show that had Jr. on it, um, which is a very good listen. Uh, but I, one of the things he would mention is that at times when he was on commentary, and of course, for those that don't know, uh, when you're on commentary in the WWE, usually Vince McMahon is uh, in your ear from the gorilla position telling you things to say. Um, and he position. recalls of a time where he basically, um, like Vince had something in mind for him to say, and my, and JR would not say it to the point where Vince continually was like yelling into his ear, ear angrily to say it. <laughs> um, and once they had gone to commercial break, uh, Vince chimes in on JR's uh, headset uh, and asks, um, did you say that thing I was supposed to say? He said, no, sir. He said, Good, because it was stupid anyways. <laughs> so, you know what? If you don't listen to your boss sometimes, sometimes it pays off. So there you go. There's a uh, real life. You know. I actually got another one. Okay. I actually got one that uh, Bobby didn't steal. It. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I had to get in. It's actually from yeah, the Bobby. same cloth. That's yeah, it's Bobby. Actually, <laughs> it's actually from the same cloth as the Alliance thing. Uh the whole Shane McMahon versus Vince McMahon match mm -hmm. matches mm -hmm. series of matches, which showed, you know, Shane McMahon putting a garbage can over his father's head, climbing on the other side of the rope of the ring and, uh, just drop kicking the shit out of his dad's head off the top rope. That was solid. It was, it, 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 I, I actually watched that during the first week of uh, the WWE Network, and it still is awesome. Nice. Another good instance from that same match is when Linda McMahon rose from her wheelchair. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like and another good incident, it's, uh, instance from that match is when Trish Stratus um, um, goes after Stephanie Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. It was all around goodness. There was a lot of authority. Uh, there was yeah. There's a lot happening. There. Um, uh, Wheels. How about you? Yes. Uh, honestly, on any of the Stone Cold moments, but honestly, I'll admit I was watching the Stone Cold thing over the weekend and last night because it was just that much entertainment. But my most favorite moment was the Vince in the hospital. And just Stone Cold just <laughs> oh, whacking him cold. with that damn bedpan. And I laugh every time I see it. It's just, it's great. And it then he the shoves best that damn, the, the damn, whatever, the catheter up his ass. And I lost it. I'm like, see, this is great authority of just whipping your own boss. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Did I miss anybody? Did we miss anybody? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We There's plenty of people here. I have to, like shuffle them. Um, what, chat room. Chat room. I, they, they haven't chimed in yet. Oh, no, they, Alex they Carr has heard they? Virgil and then he left. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, so fuck you, lunchbox. There you go. Um, so if you to be know, fair, Virgil, when Virgil actually ass. went against Ted DiBiase. That was pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, for the moment, I guess. <laughs> so, that's Virgil. I, I've done a little research, um, and apparently these comics were called WWF Battle Mania, mm -hmm. and they were they were uh, launched by Steve Ditko under the Valiant uh, Valiant uh, Company. 
Holy wow. Shit. Yeah, I just sent an email to Good Times with a uh, Good Times. Quick little Good quick times. little bit of business about uh, Good Times. About Battle Mania. Hey, and that that's the same company that did like like they had like the Nintendo stuff too, like Captain N and all that kind of stuff. I think I think you're right. Think Probably yeah. Uh, that sounds bad. Wow, we just got a major comment on our YouTube video from last night about high check raw. They are not happy about oh, it. Um, gentlemen, gentlemen, about, gentlemen, this, about it or about us? But we'll get we'll get gentlemen, into that in a moment. First, can I say something real quick? Sure, Steve Bobby. Bobby. Sure, Bobby. Sure, Bobby. Steve, Dick, Steve Ditko is from Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Oh wow! Yeah. Hey. 